So, throughout 2019, we've seen a lot of smartphone makers come out with different cameras, right? Trying to one-up each other on the camera department, right? We got quadruple cameras. Maybe we'll have Penta or even Hexa cameras in the future. I don't know. Pixel counts are getting higher and higher than ever. But one thing is for sure, the Nokia Lumia 1020 is making a comeback with these three guys right here. We got the OnePlus 7T, the Mate 30 Pro, and we have the Vivo Next 3 5G. So, they all share a similar camera layout design, but we're actually going to compare in this video how well they can do their cameras over here. Now specs wise, the Mate 30 Pro is boasting the most powerful specs with two 40 megapixel camera lenses and a 8 megapixel telephone lens. Vivo's got a triangular setup with a 64 megapixel main sensor, 13 megapixel ultra wide and a 13 megapixel telephoto. OnePlus 7T has a horizontal layout with a 48 megapixel primary sensor, 12 megapixel telephoto, and a 16 megapixel ultra wide. All right, so naturally we decided to start with nature where we compare different flowers or green leaves and see how they compare under sufficient lighting. The imaging quality turned out great among the three. I'd say Huawei's colors are more vivid, where the pinks are more vibrant, and same with the green leaves, almost giving off like a spring atmosphere to it. Meanwhile, Vivo and OnePlus appear to be more natural and true to life. Zooming in though, details are more apparent from Vivo's Next 3, where the floral patterns are more sharpened. But Huawei definitely has a better bokeh compared to the other two. Check out these other still subjects. Again, the three rival each other perfectly well, but when you look closer, the Next still preserve more details overall. And maybe I didn't focus properly here, but Huawei seemed to have an uneven exposure here. Sharpness was clearly relatively even across the three. All right, coming up next, we're gonna do the wide angle camera comparison test. This is pretty standard now with all of these smartphone makers, which is why it's strange that the new Pixel 4 didn't come with wide angle. But regardless, all three of these phones have great imaging quality when it comes to the ultra wide angle. There's little distortion on the edges and the overall image tone quality are very, very natural. But when it comes to the UI though, Huawei and Vivo really needs to work on the UI because they have a linear, focal range change on their phones which for people like me who have bigger hands it's fine because I can still touch it but for people with smaller hands it's not exactly ideal because you can't really get that you know in the moment shot when things are happening right here for example take a look at this this is already hard enough to use because it's a big phone to use from one hand look at where the scroll is you can't really access it very well by scrolling up there and check this out See, my fingers are already all the way down to America now and the scroll is still not finished. It's not really a very good, I mean, it's the UI design is just very awful to use. Look, it doesn't follow your fingers. Which is why I really hope that they could fix this somehow because otherwise this is a very, very power phone. See, OnePlus on the other hand doesn't have these problems. You can easily switch between the focal ranges with one hand and even in landscape mode, this could work out very well too. It's similar to Apple's design where all you need is just one hand. And then we have macro mode, which is only featured on the OnePlus 7T and the Vivo Next 3. When put side by side, both perform adequately with lots of detail preserved. Now OnePlus seemed to be a little more realistic while Vivo's appeared sharper. And this might be a light source problem, but Vivo's image seemed to be a little foggy or dirty over here. Overall, the two pretty much rivaled each other when it comes to magnifying objects. OnePlus seemed to be just a tad bit more detailed though. And finally, we have Nightscape, which is something that Chinese smartphone makers have been bragging about for the past few months. But we've yet to see a really satisfying solution to the scenario yet. Using the regular photo mode, the three phones pretty much all have the same shutter speeds. But sometimes they lower it just to accommodate for better image quality. Which is why you see that, you know, after image of the car in Vivo. But besides that, details are all preserved very well. And I might have like a dirty lens on the Huawei pick over here, but still. 
Now coming into night mode, Huawei and OnePlus clearly raised the overall light exposure across the image. But the blurring is pretty severe still, giving like a very clear fake kind of quality to the images. I'd say Vivo had a better night mode overall. This was taken with the community compound at night. You can see the surrounding is pretty dark already. And when you turn on night mode, everything is a lot better. All right, so you can see brightness is at a very comfortable level across all three phones with Huawei's colors a little more neutral and Vivo's and OnePlus is more vivid. Vivo's turned to be the most realistic, I would say. When we zoom in, we can see that Huawei definitely has the upper edge here with a lot of the details in the dark preserved. See, even that electricity cable in the back. Overall, we've seen how these phones compare to each other. They all have their individual strengths. And hopefully this video has given you guys a clearer picture of how they fare on their camera department. <laughs> Get it? A clearer picture? So overall, Huawei has a more powerful camera performance, right, in total whether it's in taking photos or taking videos. Vivo also did very well compared to Huawei as well. But if you consider Huawei and Vivo together, they are priced about at the $800 point, which is a little more expensive if you think about it. So to be honest, on that, on that part, if you have a few more bucks to spare and can really spend much more on a better phone, then yeah, you can go for the Huawei or Vivo. But if you really think about overall value and bang for your buck, OnePlus is definitely the better choice here because of its price range. And when you buy a OnePlus 7T in China, it's actually around $400, not at the $599 price range that it's sold in the US. So, I mean, hopefully this is giving you a better idea of what you should buy or shouldn't. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.